It's a double relief for 84-year-old Matejani Tejani, who finally has electricity. She also received groceries. I am very happy that I can now light my house, although I don't know how to switch on and off. I lost all my pension money after I received it this month, and I did not know how I was going to survive. Now I have a lot of food. God is truly amazing. Joy also overflowed in this home. I'm overjoyed because I had to use candles and paraffin, and they are dangerous, especially for children who can easily get burnt. The constant growth of communities is a stumbling block towards a 100% electrification of households. But the department says the benefits are immense. It means you're not going to be getting into a taxi every day. You're not going to be having to buy little bits. You, you save by buying bulk. But it also means our people will be able to spend time, more time doing things that can help them to grow and develop. So that time should have, uh, mother would have spent going on a taxi to go in and buy these things, to go and look for firewood and all that. She can start reading, she can start listening to the news, she can even start looking at starting a small venture. So it has a massive impact on the quality of life. The Deputy Minister has acknowledged that the shortage of streetlights is posing a major safety risk for communities like this and says it's up to municipalities to ensure they are erected. Vale, Samuel de SBC News, Bloomfontein.